Welcome to the Total Online video series. Total Online is an exciting step forward for Total Planning Suite. Not only does it make the great flexibility and power of Total Planning Suite available in an online platform, it also has several new features that are currently unique to Total Online. In this video, we'll highlight many of these features. One of the first things that new users will want to set up is the administration section of Total Online. This section is new for Total Online and helps manage basic usage of the system for your company. In this section, the administrator can add users to the number of licenses purchased for the system, Administrators can also add and edit the roles for what users are allowed to do within the system, starting with the base of three default roles that give admins an idea of how this part of the system can be used. Next, administrators can change the branding of the site to fit your company with the logo and color theme. This branding will also be seen by customers if they are given access to the client access portal, which we'll get to soon. Finally, administrators can import a Total Planning Suite desktop database into Total Online. This process will take some time, however the person doing the import will be able to use their computer as usual without worrying about interrupting the process. He can return here to check on the process at any time. The next thing for new users to set up will be the settings, which is covered in another video. However, this setup will be easier now because MoneyTree will be maintaining the state income tax settings. Companies can opt out of future updates to the settings section by MoneyTree if the company would like to make adjustments here for unique situations. The new features discussed so far are great, but they are designed to be used infrequently. Many of the improvements in Total Online are within the client input area. Most of these are improvements made to the logical flow and design so that users are able to move through the sections intuitively and quickly. When you first enter the client's area, there is a list of your most recently opened clients so that it is easier to find the clients you are actively working on. In order to make it much easier to find your clients, there is also a simple search which will filter the list by any portion of a name that is typed in. The import feature found here is significantly improved to make integrations with third-party providers much easier. This list will continue to grow as additional third-party partners are added to the integration engine. On the scenario screen, you will see a summary of the selected scenario with hyperlinks to the sections that are mentioned. In addition, this is where planners can turn on the client access portal if that is desired for a particular client. Remember that the color scheme and logo that is set up for this site will be what is seen by your clients in their portal. For now, the portal will only display summary information of the inputs the planner has entered as well as the report that is chosen by the planner to be made available for the client. Moving into the data input, you will quickly become familiar with what are known as accordions. These hide more detailed input that is unnecessary for basic plans in either Easy Money or Golden Years, the two reports available in Total Online. In settings, every user will have the option of having these always open if desired. This may be something a user decides to do if they are constantly entering detailed information and are looking to save a little bit of time. You may also notice that something is missing if you've used other online solutions. Total Online does not have any save buttons. Similar to Total Planning Suite Desktop, the information is saved as you move around the program. In beta testing, this was most disconcerting when an advisor runs into the 30-minute timeout limit. But don't worry, Total Online saves your information before logging you out. Due to popular requests, the input fields no longer refer to Individual 1 and Individual 2, but now refer to your clients by name. Also, as you move into many of the input sections, there are summary buttons which will show a summary of the information entered to help you audit your inputs along the way. In the Assets section, there are a number of updates to help streamline the input. First, stock options and rental real estate have been moved into the Assets section as Asset Groups, so you no longer need to go to three different sections to enter all of the investment assets. Additionally, the inputs have been reorganized so it is more clear which inputs are required and which are optional. As you fill in more detail about what an asset is, the inputs will change to display only those fields that are relevant to the asset being entered. Finally, a Copy Asset button has been added to create a carbon copy of the asset selected. This can help save time if multiple assets are very similar. The same Copy button has also been added to the Liabilities section. Additionally, in the liability section is a month's remaining summary to help advisors know if the payment information entered will pay down the loan on the expected schedule. Another example of the simplified input is the option to enter either a single number for income and social security or break the amounts down into detailed input. Also in the income section, users can now enter summary data at the top of social security pensions and other income, which will fill in the future changes table for you. Other income and other expense also have the much requested feature of automatically handling items which recur less frequently than annually. Simply check the recurring box and fill in the information about how often the item recurs. Returning users will remember that Total Planning Suite does not require that expense items be entered in multiple places. 
in order to help advisors avoid double entry of expenses that have been entered in other areas like itemized deductions or insurance, the personal expense section includes a summary total of all expense items. If you have used Total Planning Suite Desktop and have already set up your customized reports, there is an easy way to import your customized reports. Once you are ready to run the report, there is the option to generate the report as either a PDF or RTF document. And finally, don't forget the new comparison reports, which allow you to compare two scenarios directly on the same report pages. To try the many great new features of Total Online, visit planning.moneytree.com and sign up for an account today.